always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, you've already seen what we're doing and I am so freaking excited, honestly. Bling, 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 that is all I can say. I am so excited to share this set with you guys and to just see it sparkling on my nails, like, oh my gosh. I've already applied my easy tips and I used the instant nail glue to do that. Thank you so much to those of you who have been bigging up the instant nail glue in the comments. You guys know where it's at. It is the best glue ever. Literally dries instantly and holds super strong. So if you haven't tried it, you should definitely check it out. Once I've trimmed my nail tips to shape, I'm coming in with my nail make crystal clear acrylic and I'm going to be applying my clear base. You guys know I love to do this and there is a reason for doing this. I don't just do it for the sake of it. I do it because it's going to give me the best adhesion to the nail plate for this set, for any set that you are creating. But not only that, it means that when I want to change my design or if you want to change a client's design, you can just file back to this clear base and infill, then redo again. And honestly, it's the easiest way. So I'm going to be using toasted rose and also soft white. So our soft white does have a neutral kind of pink undertone to it. A few people have emailed in saying, oh my gosh, it's pink. It does have a pink undertone. It is not like a stark, like milky white. It's a soft white, but I wanted it to have that pink undertone just to give it some warmth. I didn't want it to be cool toned, even though it is. I really can't explain it without... Um, you guys see it, but hopefully you see what I mean when I apply it to the nail. I'm using the Holographic Gold Premix Glitter Acrylic from our Holo Blast collection, and damn, she fine. Like, mm, I could literally eat that up. Please, guys, don't eat it. It looks delicious, looks stunning, but it's not edible. <laughs> um, I'm also going to be using Starstruck, which is a chunkier gold toned kind of iridescent premix glitter acrylic absolutely stunning and will look beautiful with and over the top of so many different colors um yeah absolutely love it i just wanted to let you guys know that the brush that i'm using is the number 12 rainbow aqua brush now this handle brush is actually currently out of stock but if you wanted to get our galactic sorry not galactic galaxy aqua brush or the pink pastel aqua brush in the size 12 it would be the exact same the only difference is the handle looks a little bit different so i've just gone ahead and applied some of that gold holographic premix glitter to the base of this nail and then over the top i'm going to be adding the starstruck chunkier premix glitter acrylic i love layering products i think you just get such a gorgeous result and i love how this turned out Ready, let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady because i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up no, no, no. I'm 
moving on to the next nail, I'm going to be applying soft white to the free edge and then doing toasted rolls at the cuticle. And we're going to make this into a baby, baby boomer slash ombre nail or French ombre. It's just a super, super pretty look and I love how it looks with the soft white. As you can see here, this is the soft white and it is, like I said, it's got muted pink undertones. It's such a pretty beautiful acrylic powder but if you were to swatch it on kind of like a white paper you would notice those pink undertones a lot more as you uh, um on there because they are like pure white it's just yeah it's just a beautiful powder i hope you guys love it anyway um don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell turn on all notifications or personalize whatever you know if you don't do that though i don't think it shows you my uploads which is a little bit poopy so yeah turn them all on leave me a comment down below or any questions that you have about any products any new looks you want to see any techniques or anything and i will do my best to go through and answer them so as you can see, I've applied my soft white now and it's such a beautiful, delicate colour. I absolutely love it. And next it's time to come in with toasted rose. So you can see I blended my first bead down the nail over the soft white to create that beautiful ombre and then I blended it up the nail to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines or kind of a ridge that any product is going to sit against because when we come to file the nail that will be visible or there's a high chance that it will be visible. Next I'm coming in with my cuticle bead and I've applied it as close to the cuticle as possible. I'm allowing that product to just level a little bit. I'm going to push it slightly up and then blend it down into the existing bead that I already blended. And this is going to kind of give us our overall shape. This one will need encapsulating in clear just to protect that blend as well. Because if we went to file it like this, you would just kind of ruin the whole thing, basically. Next I'm coming in with soft white again and this is going to be a complete nail of that powder. I've applied my bead to the nail and then I'm just working the product down the nail. I'm using very light brush motions to kind of pull that product down the nail because we don't want to scrape any of that off. If we do that we might find that the nail is a little bit thin. This is a core powder so it doesn't need encapsulating because we're just doing one colour of this product. Um, but yeah, I literally love it. Imagine this like on holiday, holiday toes, holiday nails, nice, beautiful tan, golden and glowing nails, crisp AF, like damn, they're gonna look fine. So once I finish that nail, I'm going to be moving on to the next one. And for that, I really wanted to add some of the glitter. When you're kind of creating sets and coming up with ideas, it's important to balance out the products and colours that you've chosen so that the nail can be consistent, but also arranged and composed correctly so that it's pleasing for the eyes to kind of, you know, look at. You don't want to look at it and go, oof, like, damn, everything's all at one side and that just quite doesn't look right. 
Um, so it is important to kind of have a little bit of practice of how and where to place products so that your design altogether looks really fabulous. And honestly, the only real thing that you can do to get better at that is practice, practice, practice. Just applying different products in different places and different combinations. And eventually you'll kind of just get your style or the way that you like your sets to look and the rest will be history. Like you'll be so proud of yourself. Um, it literally just takes time. But yeah, for this nail I'm coming in, I'm applying toasted rose at the cuticle, making sure to blend it down the nail. And then I'm gonna come in with the gold holographic pre-mixed glitter acrylic from the Hollow Blast collection. Had a little bit of brain fog then. Um, I was trying to remember which collection it was from. But yeah, it's from our Hollow Blast collection. And I'm just blending that up the nail. And let me tell you, like, that looks fierce. Does it even need the chunky glitter acrylic over the top? I don't think so, but we're gonna add it anyway. I just wanted to share with you how beautiful it looks as it is. Absolutely freaking bomb. Send me a whole set over, please. Like, damn. Coming in with Starstruck. I think it is, I'm hoping. I seem to have memory loss all of a sudden, but anyway. All the products will be listed down below in the description box and I'll add the links as well. So if you want to check them out, you can definitely go ahead and do that. Um, I'm just applying that over the top and OMG, I'm not sure if you've been on the website lately, but we did update it a little bit. We made it a little bit fancier, organized some things a little bit more. So hopefully it's easier for you guys to find some bits. I know lots of you are struggling to find some things. So now hopefully... It's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And if not, pop us an email. We'll be happy to send a link or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I think it looks super fancy. We've got lots of new things coming for 2022. So I'm so excited for that. I'm just coming in now with my crystal clear acrylic and we're gonna encapsulate all of this set. Okay, so I went ahead and I filed and buffed the nails off camera. I've washed my hands, got rid of any extra dust that may be flying about because it's just a must. Honestly, when you're top coat and you've got little bits of dust in there, it's so annoying after you've cured and your top coat's not super smooth. If you're finding that happening, it's usually because there's dust trapped in the little filing crevices of your nails. Also, a tip to help that is to buff the nails as well. Um, okay, so I'm using the Mixed AB Crystals, the 1440 pieces from my website. Absolutely stunning, super sparkly, super fabulous. And we are also going to be using the Wax Bling Sticks, which I believe are now back in stock. <laughs> Hopefully. I haven't actually checked, but they definitely should be. Um, and I'm going to be using the Instant Nail Glue. So this is the nail tip glue and also a gem glue as well. So I'm coming in and I'm just dabbing a little bit of that glue where I want to place my crystals and then I'm going to pick up my crystals with my wax bling stick and then place them on the nail and I just love how this kind of crystal arrangement looks on the nail. So minimalistic but so like over the top at the same time. Like if you agree with me let me know down below that it's not just me that thinks that like it looks so minimal but so fancy. Like super fancy and I literally love it. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do that, work down the centre of the nail and space them as evenly as possible and then between each crystal to the side 
we're going to add another crystal so that it looks like a repeating pattern of sparkly goodness don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Now that I've finished applying all of my crystals, which I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed. Usually I would kind of skip, but I decided this time that we would just fast forward through it, but keep the process there. You know, you can always skip if you don't want to watch it, or just watch it because it's super therapeutic. <laughs> Seeing crystals being lined up on nails and sparkling. Um, but yeah, now it's time to add our top coat and I'm applying the Nailmate Super Gloss. This is our no wipe top coat. So once you've cured it, you're done. You don't need to wipe off no tacky layer, no residue or dispersion layer. It is good to go. So I'm applying that over the nails, capping the free edge, and then we're going to share some final looks. But before that, I'm going to add some more bling because, you know, we always like to go over the top sometimes. Um, I'm going to give you some tips as well about top coating around the crystals because some people struggle with that. Some people find it difficult to keep crystals on. First of all, let me tell you that the first tip to keep crystals on that I have personally found to be an absolute lifesaver is applying them to a matte surface like the raw acrylic after it's been filed or buffed gel. I feel like when you apply the nail glue on top of a shiny surface, it's a, it has a hard time kind of polymerizing and setting. I'm not sure if it affects the actual overall chemical kind of process, how it dries. I have no idea, but you know, hopefully these tips are gonna help you guys. I just find it so much better to apply it over that, like the raw acrylic. So once you've got a really good nail glue, instant nail glue from Nailmate is the bomb. Never lose any crystals ever, ever. Um, you wanna apply your crystals to your raw acrylic or your filed acrylic or gel, and then allow that to dry. Then we're gonna come in and seal them with top coat. So what the top coat is gonna do is kind of give them a little hug around the edge of the crystals and hold on to those sides of the crystals that are closest to the nail. Um, we're not going to go over the top of the crystals because that would be tragic. Um, it would basically just blur out any facets on the side of the crystals and really not make them catch the light as well. You'll see. Try it out. You'll, you'll see what I'm saying. It kind of magnifies it but reduces the clarity. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna come in with a detailer brush. So I'm using the Baddest Liner Brush, super affordable set. It's our three piece set on the website and I love it. I use it for loads of things, detailing, line work, coloring in, top coating round crystals like this super super easy so i literally place some of my top coat onto the backing of some forms so that i can literally just discard of it once i've finished um and just so it's easy to access i don't want to keep having to like lift my bottle you know cap out of the bottle to get some off the brush So as you can see, we're using that product between the crystals and going right up to the edges. It is important that you do go right up to the edges to kind of encase the sides of the crystals onto the nail. It gives it an extra added security and this is going to let your crystals last a long time. Like depending on obviously how long your client wears the nails, two to four weeks or longer. I mean, your client shouldn't really be going longer than that anyway, just for safety reasons. Um, but trust me this process will make your stones and crystals last like damn hopefully it helps you guys if it did come back here let me know comment down below or send me a message on instagram instagram um yeah you should definitely follow me on instagram at ninja nail fairy subscribe if you haven't already like please I would love it if you could join my ninja nail fam. I'm always giving out tips and tricks and creating new designs for you guys, hopefully to inspire you to create something of your own or copy as well. I really don't mind, but I would love if you do recreate any of my designs to tag me so that I can share it to my story as well. I love seeing recreations. I just want to take a Okay guys, so this is the look that we have so far. Now this look is bomb, it looks amazing. I love how it turned out. I think it looks super, super pretty and you could definitely leave it like this. However, I actually created this whole look inspired by some new nail charms that we just got onto the website. So I really wanted to create a set that would match and really show them off elegantly, delicately and absolutely badass, over the top, bomb.com so this is the set that i came up with and these are the charms we have the brand new gold and silver crystallized snake charms they are fierce like seriously super pretty super sparkly and over the top bling so if you want to wear something extra for a special occasion an event a photo shoot a product shoot whatever you're doing you know get on it like these are bomb um i'm just sizing it up for the nail checking where i'm going to apply my acrylic to add this to the nail you want to make sure that you are hitting it in the right areas so that it is going to be attached like you wouldn't apply acrylic to areas that aren't in contact with the nail because it's not going to hold it i mean it's just not so yeah, I'm going to use the number five nail mate brush. You can use your larger brush if you want, but I just prefer using a smaller brush because we are applying this to a small area, like, and we've got to be, we've got to be precise. You don't want any acrylic spilling out the back, making this charm look bad or like, you know, just applied dodgy. So you can see I'm just applying small beads of acrylic where the charm is going to attach to the nail. You do want to make sure as well that you drain the liquid out of the back of your brush when you are applying the beads. When you picked up the beads and then before you apply them, sorry. Because if you apply this super, super wet, for one, it's going to take a while to dry. You might find that it slips and slides around the nail. Two, you might find that some product seeps to the front of the charm and that would just really spoil the overall look. So do bear that in mind as well. Apply less rather than kind of, you know, going full ham and applying a massive bead. Um, but yeah, 
I'm not going to apply this to the nail straight away. I'm going to give it time to kind of partially set because it's such a heavy charm. If we applied that to the nail and then let go of it, it's just going to go whoop and slip down the sli slide, <laughs> not down the slide, obviously, down the side of the nail um, or to the end or whatever. It's just not going to stay in position. So it's important just to give it a minute just to settle a little bit. And then once you do have it in position, hold it there. Don't let go. Like you don't want to let go because like I say, the heaviness of this will just let that charm slide right off. Honestly, it looks so bomb. I love it. Literally love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this anyway. I think it looks such a cute set. Let me know whether you would have it with or without the bling. Um, I do know it's more of a special occasion thing. Like you're not going to wear this every day. I mean, imagine unloading the dishwasher. Totally possible. I'm just saying. It is totally possible. It just takes a little bit of getting used to. I used to always wear massive charms on my nails all the time. So what I'm doing now is just um, filling in the kind of gaps under the charm to support it more and to hold it further onto the nail. This is important. This is something that I did a long time ago when creating nails and adding big charms and customers and clients just found it so much better. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's another tip that's helped you out as well. So guys, this is the final look. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. And as always, please remember that you are bomb.com. Lit as fuck. And don't ever let anybody tell you when you're different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye. See you in my next video. Also, don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. I have a ton for you to choose from, and I hope that you enjoy every single one. Bye.